In this demonstration, we're going to start to add some walls and doors and other components to begin to build up your C container. To add a wall, click on Wall, and you'll see that the Properties toolbar changes, and the drop-down menu here shows different styles of wall. This particular wall, we're going to make a stud or a steel stud 70mm wide wall. The other point to note is the constraints. Now the constraint tells me where it starts, so it starts on the floor or the ground level and it's unconnected. I need to change that to the roof level so it goes between the roof, the floor and the roof. Apply. And then somewhere within my C container I can draw some walls. I'll draw all look so. Pressing escape gets me out of that feature. Press escape again and I come out of the feature and you'll notice the toolbar at the top changes. I need to add a door so I click on door and again you'll see the properties change and again I can change the different style of wall at door to perhaps a slightly wider door. And you'll see as I float near to the end of my C container, it shows an outline of where the door goes. The program automatically cuts the wall and places the door in between the wall in the wall. I'm now going to make a door in here. Exactly the same way, just click on the wall and it'll cut the door. I've now added two doors. Come up to architecture. This time I'm going to add a window. And again, in the window, the properties change for the window. It's quite a wide window. And again, the program automatically breaks the outside walls like so. A component is something which is not totally functional to the actual building. I need to load the particular component in, usually within the International Metric Library, and again on your computer you'll be able to find them. And then in this case I want to find a bed, standard bed, and open that. That should allow me to place the bed. I'll put a double bed in here. Again, press escape and we can come out of those. Another component I might want to add, edit type, could be a desk. I don't want to put a desk in here. Now, some of these objects might not be in the correct place, so if I click on it, this menu comes up here to modify and allows me to move the desk to a different position, or I could click on it and rotate it. And again, move it to a new position. Now, if I go to 3D view, I can start to see what this building looks like, or my C container looks like, in real life 3D view.